Hi and welcome to Western. In this tutorial we are going to show you how to correctly import a CSV to our platform and connect it to a chatbot. Let's get started. First, let's open the CSV in our Excel program. As you can see, there are a few columns that help the chatbot work. Keyword group 1 refers to the main set of keywords, that is, the word that the user types in that triggers an associated response. In keyword group 2 and 3, you can make the associations more specific, so that if an answer meets the criteria in group 1 and 2, then the answer that includes both will be displayed. If you are going to work on the sheet in Spanish or any language that has accents, you don't have to add them to the keyword. The chatbot will recognize the word even if the user types it with an accent. The live chat column tells the chatbot whether or not to enable the live chat option so that an agent will take over. The question column reflects the question that the user will type, but it doesn't have to match 100%. Finally, one of the most important parts is the text column. In this section, you are going to type the answer that you want the chatbot to display based on the previously defined criteria. Let's see how to import it to our platform. First, let's go to data source and create a new one. You can name it whatever you want. Now, go into the created data source and click on import. Select your CSV and voila! With your chatbot template already imported into the builder, now it's time to connect both of them. Let's copy the data source ID, which is in the top right corner. And then, let's select the chatbot we are going to work with and the tree manager option. This will open the configuration map where we have to copy the data source ID into the correct field. Always remember to save and now it's all connected. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We hope you learned how to connect your imported data to a chatbot that works for you 24-7. See you in the next one.